But this is Kenya. We yeah. reacted to Kenya Holmes. We have. Kenya Holmes is the ones who blew our mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised that the homes look this nice. <laughs> Talk about it. What's good, y'all? It's the Dumashats React, and we're back with another video who we got today see. today we're back with another american reaction yes super excited about this video guys if you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you make sure you scroll down hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on, on the road, road to 100 k and we cannot get there without you guys all right join the family without further ado let's get into the video let's go you hello great people african travel again and today i'm gonna take you down the memory lane how Nairobi has come of age until to it is um, this is the Nairobi you don't see on a regular basis so basically Nairobi is the capital city and the largest city in Kenya kind of and uh, it, it came from the Maasai phrase and Karen Nairobi which uh, loosely translate to a place of cool water uh, it was a reference to the Nairobi River which flows through the uh, the city so Nairobi has a population of about 4.5 million people and if you include the metro region it uh, metro area goes to about almost 10 million people so oh, yeah, it's the one of the busiest the biggest cities in africa one of the fastest growing in terms of real estate uh, uh, high rise so yeah and uh, so many uh, multinational companies are setting up their headquarters in Nairobi city. Nairobi is home to thousands. I just want to compliment the greenery. Yes. How it's hugging the block. That's what I, I love that. Too. I love that. Like yep. you can't go wrong with that. We like shade. We mm -hmm. love the sun. Yeah. But ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of shade. Yeah. Cause sometimes they just be cutting down all the trees and you won't all see a trees. tree for miles oh. and miles. Like we sitting outside and we like. Like you need something to cover. It's like <laughs> the birds, everything came and chirp around because ain't no trees to play in. Right. Like, I like this. Okay. I like it as well. Kenyan businesses and over 100 major international companies and organizations have set up their hub uh, in Nairobi. So, yeah, and so th there's so many reasons why Nairobi uh, has managed to have a niche over so many cities in Africa, and this is uh, the infrastructure in place that is way above so many of the cities, the internet speed, stable electricity, as well as good weather throughout the year. So if you if you plan to invest in Africa, Nairobi should be one of the cities that should be in your plan. You say y'all got good weather throughout the year. I bet. But this is Kenya. <laughs> we yeah. reacted to Kenya Homes. We have. Kenya Homes is the ones who blew our mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised that the homes look this nice. <laughs> Talk about it. That's what we're talking about right now. Look at that. Yes. Thank you. Look, the green Man. So so much of Nairobi has changed. Over the last 20 years, there's been a tremendous growth in terms of in infrastructure, skyscrapers. Uh, uh, over the last 20, this is from 2000, uh, the year 2000 to 2020, the country has gone through a tremendous change. And I will take you guys through the memory lane just to get to understand what has happened. So I love, uh, I will take you down the memory lane, and then we'll come back to the Nairobi you don't know and. We proceed. Thank you. So the year 1899, the railway got to Nairobi, and that is when Nairobi started developing as a city. It had better uh, weather, because uh, previously the city, the capital city of Kenya was in Machakos, and it was moved to Nairobi because of the good weather. And what led to this development as well was the railway passed Nairobi and missed Machakos. So that is what defined the development of Nairobi to what it is today. So, and. Uh, it started developing from the from that year on you can see 1950s 1960s uh, and after independence in the year 1960 Nairobi started growing at a very fast 
space uh, that is between 70s and 80s. And uh, in the CBD, Nairobi Central Business District, that you see is mostly of the buildings were built between the 70s and 80s. So in the 90s, Kenya had a really hard time in terms of economy. This is the time guys were fighting for multipartism. Most of the uh, international bodies that do, do funding to countries blocked the funding to the country. To a lot of homelessness. As, uh, we had so many street kids on the, on the streets of Nairobi. That's, I'm like I like that he went all the way back to yeah. show us when there was literally nothing but cows and goats. Right, right. And the then landscape, you know huh? showed us all the way up until their independence. I love that. Yeah, I like that as well. That's dope. Nairobi, it uh, led to a lot of insecurity to an extent Nairobi was called Nairobi and uh, during the 90s this is the time we had a lot of exodus of Kenyans from Kenyans to different countries in the world uh, because of, there was no employment yeah and from 2002 this is the time the country started facing a different direction and this is what you guys are seeing today uh, the city called Nairobi so let's explore the city and Hope you guys will enjoy. So guys, apart from CBD and to some extent Westlands, most of the areas I'm going to show you like Upper Hill, uh, Parklands, Kilimani, Kileleshwa uh, were basically uh, residential areas. But uh, with time from 2000, most of these areas have started becoming commercial come residential areas. So. I hope you guys will enjoy the videos and please don't forget to always like, comment and subscribe guys. Please. I love how he's showing us a different side of Kenya because what we've been seeing from Kenya so far has been I guess more of the rural areas. Um, you know, with like the tribes and, you know, things like that. I don't think we've seen Kenya. Right, right. And then he made a very important mention on how they really started booming and started taking a very big shift and a lot of work was being, you know, built into the communities and whatnot. So everybody was coming to Kenya for work. Right, right. So that was, uh, must I say Nai Nairobi. Nairobi. It was coming Kenya. to Nairobi for work. But yeah. it's still Kenya, you feel me? Yeah. So yeah, I think that's a big, th big thing. That's a big thing to notice. Yes. <laughs> Get copyrighted by the music. No, he was gonna be playing music the whole yeah. time. But this is a good view of Kenya in 4K. The drone footage. All the buildings and uh, the architect that they do have built a high entrance, you know what I'm saying, to want to like step inside of them mm -hmm. to see what's going on because none of them are the same format. They're not like a whole bunch of skyscrapers, skyscrapers, and they all look the right, same, you know right. what I'm saying? I like it. It looked like a really, really busy place, though. It does, it yeah. Does. How busy is it, you guys? I mean, millions of people live here. Four million to ten million? Is yes. Ten million in the city? Just city? about ten million. That's a lot. Woo! This kind of looked like, I was going to say a resort. I thought I saw a pool. Is that a pool back there? Did we pass the downtown area yet? I think this is the downtown area. It has to be. And it's very huge, by the way. Yeah, so this is a lot of views. And some of it looked like some of the same areas, so we're just gonna skip around. This is like we're finna go to the airport. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looked like Bawa House. Like, well, I can't say Bawa. <laughs> I, I can't House? say y'all exactly. We there in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Y'all didn't know it was in Nairobi, did y'all? <laughs> That's a lot of buildings. It is. So I'm guessing this is a lot of locations where work is mm -hmm. um this could be hotels yeah corporations just showing nairobi but um i think hmm. we could stop right here guys because it seems the rest of the video will just be 
the same area. So Right, just different angles, and we kind of understand what's happening at this point. Yeah, yeah. so if y'all would like us to see more of the neighborhoods, yeah, let us know. Let's get on the ground. That would be some interesting videos for us to do. What? We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our join feature to become a VIP member of the channel. Send in your reaction request through our description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.